Breaking overnight, High Point police are conducting a homicide investigation. Officers were called to the Super 8 motel that's on Regency Drive just around 1 a.m. When they arrived, they found 31-year-old Anita Hyatt with a gunshot wound. At that time, she was rushed to the hospital, but she did later die from her injuries. Authorities do tell us the suspect is currently in custody. And of course, we will continue to bring you the latest updates as we continue to learn them both on air and online. It broke my heart. Terry Chapman's heart is hurting after she learned on social media that her friend Anita Hyatt is gone. You don't really believe it. Like, when you see her name, it's like, no. Friday morning at 1, High Point police say they found Hyatt with gunshot wounds at the Super 8 by Wyndham on Regency Drive. She later died at the hospital. So it really hurts. Uh, I was, I'm very brokenhearted about her not being there, not being able to see her. I just talked to her last week. Chapman says she met Hyatt at Wellborn Middle School and they both graduated from T. Wingate Andrews High School. Chapman tells me that Hyatt was an entrepreneur and would often give her advice, but it wasn't her words that touched her, she says. It was her compassion for others. She was like a light on a dim day. Uh, I, there are times where I felt like I just needed someone to talk to. And Anita is that type of person where you need someone to talk to. She has that listening ear. Welcome to Explore Crimes. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more videos. Anita Hyatt was a woman who embodied love, resilience, and determination. Born and raised in High Point, North Carolina, she was affectionately known as Nita Bug by her close friends and family. From an early age, Anita demonstrated a passion for learning and a deep commitment to her community. She attended T.W. Andrews High School where she forged lifelong friendships and developed a reputation as someone who was always willing to lend a helping hand. After high school, Anita pursued a degree in criminal justice at North Carolina A and T State University, driven by a desire to make a difference in her community. Anita's entrepreneurial spirit was evident in the various ventures she embarked on. She was the proud owner of multiple businesses, including Blissful, LLC, A Taste of Joy, and A Touch of Love. Each of these businesses reflected different facets of her personality and skills. Blissful LLC was known for its personalized custom items, where Anita's creativity and attention to detail shone through. A taste of joy and a touch of love allowed her to share her love for cooking with the community. A self-taught cook, Anita's culinary talents were widely appreciated and her food brought people together. Her menus, which she frequently shared on social media, were eagerly awaited by her followers, who admired her ability to create dishes that were not only delicious but also made with love. Anita's warmth and generosity extended beyond her business endeavors. She was known for her compassion, always ready to offer advice, support, or simply a listening ear to those who needed it. Her friends and family often spoke of her as someone who was beautiful inside and out, with a heart of gold. She was like a light on a dim day. Uh, I. There are times where I felt like I just needed someone to talk to. And Anita is that type of person where you need someone to talk to. She has that listening ear. She was the kind of person who could light up a room with her smile and had a natural ability to make people feel loved and appreciated. Anita adored her family, particularly her nieces and nephews, and she cherished the time spent with them. Her love for her family was evident in everything she did, and she made sure that they knew how much they meant to her. Anita Hyatt and Demetrius Hill were in a relationship that initially was filled with love and excitement. When they first met, there was a strong connection between them, and they enjoyed many happy moments together. They traveled to new places, created lasting memories, and shared their joy with friends and family through social media. What's up, sugar? What's up, sugar? You good? Oh, sure. We're in a room. Oh, oh. We're in a room, It's a ship right below us, look. Bye! How you feeling? Hey, Their relationship was one of affection and companionship with Anita often expressing her happiness in being with someone who she felt understood and cared for her. 
As the relationship progressed, Anita began to recognize that Demetrius's behavior was becoming increasingly problematic. Demetrius had a history of behavioral issues, something he himself acknowledged. Anita was a strong and independent woman who knew what she wanted from life, and she wasn't willing to compromise her well-being for the sake of maintaining a relationship that no longer aligned with her values. The tension between them grew. Anita expressed her deep commitment to living a positive and fulfilling life in one of her social media posts, where she wrote, My life has always been about peace, joy, love, happiness, and prosperity. I pray God removes any hurt, harm, danger, negative energy out of my life. This heartfelt message reflected her desire to focus on what truly mattered to her and to distance herself from anything that could disrupt her peace and well-being. Signaling to those around her that she was ready to move on and focus on her personal growth. Ultimately, Anita made the difficult decision to end her relationship with Demetrius. She knew it was the right choice for her well-being and future, even though it was not an easy decision. Unfortunately, Demetrius did not take the breakup well. His inability to accept the end of their relationship led him down a dark path. Despite Anita's efforts to move forward and distance herself from the negativity, Demetrius continued to harbor feelings of resentment and anger. In the early hours of October 28, 2022, around 1 a.m., officers were called to the Super 8 Hotel on Regency Drive in High Point, North Carolina. The call reported an assault with a deadly weapon. When the police arrived at the scene, they found 31-year-old Anita Hyatt suffering from a gunshot wound. Despite their immediate response, the situation was dire. Anita was quickly rushed to the hospital, but despite the best efforts of the medical team, she tragically succumbed to her injuries and passed away. They're investigating an overnight shooting that left a woman dead. And WXII 12's Louis Tran joins us live from High Point now. After speaking with one of those victims' friends, Louis, what did they have to say? Hey, Kenny and Lindsay. The woman tells you that she and the victim, Anita Hyatt, met almost two decades ago. She tells you that an entire community is hurting now that Hyatt is gone. It broke my heart. Terry Chapman's heart is hurting after she learned on social media that her friend Anita Hyatt is gone. You don't really believe it. Like, when you see her name, it's like, no. Friday morning at 1. High Point police say they found Hyatt with gunshot wounds at the Super 8 by Wyndham on Regency Drive. She later died at the hospital. So it really hurts. Uh, I was, I'm very brokenhearted about her not being there, not being able to see her. I just talked to her last week. Chapman says she met Hyatt at Wellborn Middle School, and they both graduated from T. Wingate Andrews High School. Chapman tells me that Hyatt was an entrepreneur and would often give her advice. But it wasn't her words that touched her, she says. It was her compassion for others. She was like a light on a dim day. Uh, I, there are times where I felt like I just needed someone to talk to. And Anita is that type of person where you need someone to talk to. She has that listening ear. As, as the investigation unfolded, it became clear that this was no random act of violence. The suspect, identified as Demetrius Hill, Anita's ex-boyfriend, had followed her to the hotel and confronted her. The confrontation escalated into a violent encounter that ended in the fatal shooting. Demetrius fled the scene, but was later apprehended by the authorities. Grief. Demetrius was later arrested and charged with first-degree murder and possession of a firearm by a felon. Police investigate and continue to search for answers. A community is mourning, feeling a void that Ania Hyatt left behind. The community and her family have lost someone that can never be replaced. High Point police say they arrested Demetrius Hill in this case. He's charged with first degree murder and firearm by a felon. Police say that he's Hyatt's ex-boyfriend. In High Point, I'm Louis Tran, WXII 12 News. His inability to move on from the relationship, coupled with his unresolved behavioral issues, had led to the ultimate tragedy the loss of Anita's life. Anita's death was a heartbreaking reminder of the dangers of unresolved issues and the importance of recognizing the signs of an unhealthy relationship. Her decision to prioritize her well-being and seek a life free from negativity was an act of strength, but tragically, it was met with violence. 
Her friends and family, who remember her as a beacon of love and kindness, were left to mourn the loss of a woman who had so much more to give to the world. In the aftermath of her death, Anita's story has become a poignant example of the devastating impact of domestic violence. It serves as a call to action for others to be vigilant, to recognize the signs of a troubled relationship, and to support those who may be in similar situations. Anita's legacy is one of love, compassion, and resilience, and her story will continue to inspire others to seek the peace and happiness that she so deeply valued in her own life. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.